Hello and welcome to this astrophotography mosaic tutorial. I have been trying to do some mosaics over the past few years with uh, more or less success, but finally I found a script which gives me a really good result. And thanks at this point to John Murphy for creating this great script. These scripts that we are going to need are standard not in PixInsight included, so you have to um, make a link first in your repository. Just visit astroprocessing.com, then go to repository and follow the steps which uh, John Murphy wrote down here. Uh, it should be very clear what to do and uh, yeah, then uh, auto update the repository and the script should be available inside your PixInsight scripts folder. Okay, so let's get started and dive into the processing. First, let's do another stretch. We have on the left my top panel and on the right my lower panel for the constellation Scorpius. And uh, the first thing that I do is doing a dynamic crop, especially on the edge where they will be overlapped, the two panels or four panels or whatever you have. And make sure that you have a clean um, edge, that you don't have bad pixel on the, on the edge. I already did that on those two panels. So the next thing I do is the gradient correction script to remove any uh, gradient. I did two runs on each panel. You can see now what happened. So the gradient got uh, very good removed for now. So the next thing I do is to open Blur Exterminator and do a correct only process just to see because I have uh, because of the lens, I have some bad stars in the field, and uh, let's see what this script can do about it. Script ran through. Let's check what what it did to the stars, and uh, yeah, it's much more round stars. So I'm pretty happy with this result. Now, very important, save those files both of them. The next thing we do is we make a plate solve for the image so that there will be data added to the image that the program knows in which direction of the night sky uh, this was captured. We open a script, image analysis and image solver. So here, what do we do? We add first our image. I already did that. Uh, all your panels, add them here. Then the next thing is we open via the search bar a region that is uh, near the center of our uh, target image. I will choose Antares for, for this because it is in both uh, images. Uh, then click OK. You can give in here M16, NGC, 3, 4, 5, whatever, um, and it will find your uh, destination. Um, the next thing is we click here topocentric and then you give in the coordinates from your uh, position where you captured the image and uh, if you want also the height that you were. And the next thing is you have to put in the focal length of your telescope or uh, lens. I just did it with the 50 millimeter camera lens, so that's why I wrote only 50 here. And then you have also to write the pixel size of your camera. I did it with my Canon and uh, it has a 4.3. Uh, value here so you can google this for your camera what the pixel size is that's no problem and um, reference system 
choose ICRS and very important, leave the distortion correction checked. And then you can run the script. Don't forget to add also the date if it is not auto detected by the camera files. Then go to your folder and uh, cut the files with the WCS and into a plate solved uh, folder and back to pics inside and script mosaic mosaic by coordinates so here you can now add all the plate solved files together all panels you have and choose gnomic here and the output directory and hit OK. OK, so we can minimize these two images and open the two new ones with the RA ending and what it did the last process mosaic by coordinate is it registered those two images to each other so if i take one and put it on the other one you can see that it matches perfectly now over the field the next step we do is we go to script mosaic trim mosaic tile and we will cut away uh, a few pixels on each edge and uh, I do only three pixel on left, right and top of uh, this image and on the edge where it will be overlapped with the other mosaic part I will do a little bit more, maybe 10 pixels that you can choose whatever you need on your image and you can click the real-time preview and uh, with these points here you can drive through the image and with the, the preview trimmed image you see what, what will be clipped away and then you can hit run and then you do the same thing for the other image of course on this one we clip away 10 pixel on the top and only three on the bottom okay then let's save those two files and then we come already to the last step of our mosaic combination we go to script mosaic photometric mosaic then we choose here the two panels and uh, very important is that you have average. Average gives you the best result by far. And that's basically all you have to adjust here. If you want, you can go under start detection and click this button here. And then you will uh, become a little preview where you see which stars will be calculated on the two overlapped images. That's just nice to know. but not necessary and then you can run the script i already did that for now and let's have a look to the final result and um, you see here where the two panels overlapped and it is really nothing you see no no bad combination errors or something it is really a smooth result as i told you in the beginning it's really the best uh, method for combine a mosaic in pics inside which i tried so far you may be ask yourself okay that's good for a two panel mosaic but my mosaic is uh, bigger has four six eight whatever panels so how do i process this the best way 
Okay, so first you prepare every panel that it looks like this one. Then you can combine like one side. You can do it in a row or in a line as you prefer. And then it would give you a result like this. Then you do the same thing on the other side. That would give you a result like this. And then you do the whole steps again with these two panels and combine them and it, you receive finally the final image. Then you can do a dynamic crop process where all edges are covered inside the, the white square and hit OK. And now you have the final view of your created mosaic. Uh, remember this image is still unstretched, unprocessed, so now you can start with your standard processing workflow. Um, I have also an easygoing tutorial workflow in another video. I will uh, link it below this video if you want to have a look. So yeah, I wish you good luck with your project and thanks for watching. Bye bye.